Hi everyone, my name is Eka and I am sales manager here at Growwave. Today I want to show you how Growwave can boost your customer loyalty and grow the sales. Today I want to show you both the front end and the back end so you can understand how the app works from the customer perspectives and yours. Before we start, I want to show you the social login feature. So the social login feature helps to make the sign up process easy for the customer without needing to manually tap on information. So now I want to sign in uh, on your Shopify store and as you can see, we have the social networks and now I can choose, for example, my Gmail and then choose my email and log in into your Shopify store. Yeah, so as you can see, it's very easy for the customers. So now I want to show you backend. This is our Growwave admin panel and as you can see, we split our features into separate sections. So we have five features like rewards, reviews, wishlist, Instagram and additionally, we have the social login feature. So the social login feature you can find in the settings and here uh, find the social login feature. Yeah, so here, uh, as you can see, you can choose which social networks you'd like to enable for the login and you can just click on this button and yeah, here we go. And here you can change your icon style. The next one, I want to show you the rewards feature. Yeah, so for the rewards, we have multiple ways of displaying them on your store. And the first one, I want to show you the rewards widget. So for the rewards, we have a widget right here where your customers can see all available rewards and can redeem them directly from the widget. And at the bottom, they can view the VIP tier and point balance. And on the right hand side, we have all different ways of earning more points by completing certain actions. The widget has the great advantage that can be implemented on every page expect for the checkout and your customers will have easy access to it but I understand it's too much information in a small widget so if you would like you can also create the separate page for rewards program and here it's still the same information but bigger design wise you can customize but it's the default color shimmer view and here we have the typical rewards something you would usually see on other e-commerce sites under the earn points, we have a lot of action that your customers can complete to earn the reward, but you don't have used all of them, just keep it between 10 or 12. And at the bottom, we have the referral link that your customers can share with their friends and family. You can also create the separate page for your referral program. And here it's very clear what it's about. I can refer a friend and have 100 points and my friend have the discount. This is my link and how I can share it. The link will after generate it, so you don't need to worry about it. Yeah, so it was the customer experience. Let me show you how it's look at the back end. We have three sub features under our rewards program and there are points, referral program and VAP tiers. Right now, I want to show you the points section and here we have earning rules and redeeming points section. Here on the earning rules, you can set up all different rewardable actions. For example, you can reward your customers for leaving a review with a points or a discount. And here you can change your title, give any description that you want, choose your reward type like points, discount, gift card and free product, uh, define the word delay in days, and you can give extra bonus and extra points for the reviews with photo. On the right hand side, you can enable or disable this action and see the feature summary. So you can do the same with the, all these earning rules. Now I want to show you the redeeming point section and here you can choose how your customers can redeem those collected points. And there are five ways like gift card, flexible discount, free product, fixed amount discount and free shipping. And you can also edit all of them. You can change your title, point value and gift card value too. Yeah, so now I want to show you the referral program. So here we have receiver and sender options and you can also everything customize. You can change your title, reward type like discount, gift card, free product, and you can fix your discount type. Yeah, so here you can do the same with the sender option. So now I want to show you the referral channels. So here you can choose which social networks you'd like to enable for the sharing and you can just click and activate it or deactivate it, the social network. And the last we have the VIP tiers. So for the VIP tiers, you can set as many as you want. You can set the criteria. As you can see here, you can change your tier title. You can give any description. You can change your tier image or tier icon. Then you can choose your criteria. So we have three criteria like earn points, purchases made and spend amount. So you can choose uh, everything that you want, but it has to be the same throughout all tiers. Then you set the minimum conditions and add benefits such as points multiplier. Yeah, so here you can activate it or 
deactivated this action. The next one, I want to show you the reviews feature. For the reviews, we really have um, a lot of ways to show and now I want to show you the reviews tab. So here you can see where all your reviews will be collected. So you can see the product reviews and the site reviews. And you can also create a separate page for reviews. And here on the reviews page, you can split them between the product reviews and the site reviews. And let me show you how it looks on the product page. So we can choose like this product. And on the product page, you can see how the reviews the product has and the average rating and our app allows editing photos which are beneficial for building better social proof and as you can see site visitors can also leave the reviews but in this case they will appear as a verified buyer if you know that the customer purchased the product you can switch it to the verified buyer in the grow wave admin panel and let me show you how you can do it here you can choose your reviews feature and here you can see uh, where your old reviews will be collected so you can publish or unpublish them you can reply and if you click more you can edit your review and when you edit you can choose like verified or not verified buyer you can change your product title review title review body and add the file and you can do the same with the questions and answers right here and if you don't want to use this feature it's up to you you can just turn off Okay, so now I want to show you the wishlist feature. So for the wishlist, we need to open the collection page and choose any of these collections. And here, as you can see, we can add a little hard button on the collection page and your customers can just immediately add it to the wishlist. As soon as you add something to the wishlist, it will appear in the wishlist tab right here. Yeah, so here on the wishlist tab, you can also share your wishlist with your friends and family. You can create the boards like wedding, favorites, and etc. Yeah, and you can also create a separate page for your wishlist. And then here you can see the same information. Yeah, so here you can also create the boards. You can share your wishlist with your friends and family. And let me show you how it looks at the product page. So we can choose this product and as you can see the wishlist bottom uh, embedded under the buy button here and you can also change the appearance of the bottom uh, in the grow wave admin panel. Yeah. Um, and then now I want to show you the back end. So here you can see the overall. So here you can see how many products and items were added by guests and members and how many wishlist reminders will send out. Here in the activity, you can see which products are most popular among your customers. And here you can see the stock control. Now I want to show you the Instagram UGC. Our application helps the faith shop to get the shoppable gallery so your customer can count on the Instagram page and don't have to search for the collection. And you can just go directly to the shop's Instagram gallery, which is on the front end page. And um, here you can click like this particular picture and immediately buy it. So now I want to show you the back end. And here, as you can see, the first one you need to connect your Facebook business account with your Shopify store, and then you need to create the gallery. Here you can change your title. You can show Instagram stories, by the way. Uh, if you click after approve, that means that all pictures from your account will be synchronized and downloaded here. Here you can give any hashtags and uh, change your layout. Yeah, so it was all about the Instagram UGC and now I want to show you the customer sections. Yeah, so here you can see all activity that your customers do in your store and see the order history. Here we have the analytics section. So here you can export all data uh, from the Grow Wave. Uh, with the rewards, reviews, and Instagram. Then we have the notification center, and here we have notifications for the rewards, reviews, and wishlist reminders. So, for, the, for example, for the wishlist reminders, we have three types of emails which you can customize. And your loved items are waiting for you is a general reminder that will be sent out as soon as the customer leaves the website without making a purchase. And here you can change your email language, banner image, you can change your subject and send the test email to see how it looks like. And you can do the same with the rewards, notifications and with the reviews uh, request emails. 
Okay, and now I want to show you the settings. So here we have the general settings. For the rewards, we have settings for the points, for the VIP tiers, and here you can change your points name, give it expiration days. On top of that, you can exclude discounts, including shipping and taxes, as well as including members or products by the tech. Lastly, you can reward your customers for their past actions. For the reviews, you can automatically publish better reviews uh, like four stars, five stars. Yeah, so it's up to you. Uh, here you can also uh, show only verified reviews. You can change the tab position and activate it or deactivate it, the reviews feature. Okay, so for the wishlist, uh, you can also activate it or deactivate it. You can change your tab position and choose show or not. So here we have the import center. So if you previously used any other app for your features, you can create the CSV file and import all your existing data into our app. And yeah, for that, you need to create the CSV file and send to us and our support team will help you with the all integrations. And here we have the integration section and here you can see all integrations that we have okay so that's all for today i hope you found all this information useful we will be happy to help you and answer all of your questions so here we have the link where you can just click and book the demo with us thank you and happy grow waving bye bye